So the Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer just dropped, and these are all the details that you missed. So the trailer opens up with Love is a Long Road by Tom Petty, a track released in 1989, and even the lyrics in the song foreshadow what is probably going to be the dynamic between the two characters. The first one says, There was a girl I knew, she said she cared about me, she tried to make my world the way she thought it should be. Yeah, we were desperate then, to have each other to hold, but love is a long, long road, yeah, love is a long, long road. And the entire song is, I would assume, a complete reference to the dynamic between Lucia and Jason that we see in this trailer. Anyway, we start off the trailer by looking at a beautiful pink and blue sunset licked Vice City, remade and in all its glory. The next shot we see a bunch of herons and birds opening up on a penitentiary showing Lucia, the first of the dual protagonists that are in this brand new Grand Theft Auto 6. She's in some sort of penitentiary, she's obviously been in there for doing something, she's obviously got some sort of criminal history. The corrections officer asks, do you know why you're here? And Lucia responds, bad luck, I guess. It then opens up to a sprawling shot of Vice City. Just in this shot alone, panning up from the ocean to the city, you can see dolphins. You can see a shark, I believe? You can see boats, jet skis, all in the water. You can see birds, tons of birds, hundreds of NPCs just lining the beach. The beaches look actually filled with people. As you can see also, this plane is towing a banner across the, the skyline. I'm not sure if we'll be able to do that or not, but we will see. Also, as it goes up and reveals the rest of the skyline, you can see how massive Vice City is actually going to be. It looks so densely populated and packed with buildings in the background, it's insane. Just in this shot alone, you can see every single window is differently oriented. There's some that have curtains, there's some that have roller blinds, some are open, some are closed, some have chairs in them, some have plants in them. This is in Insane detail. Then we get our first shot of the Everglades in the complete opposite area with no city in the background. It looks like a completely different area with a hovercraft driving over just tons of birds. There's alligators, there's flamingos, there's ducks, there's birds everywhere, literally filling the screen. Cut to the very next shot and we have just an, an insane amount of NPCs, just like the animals. Everyone is doing their own unique thing. There's people running down the beach. You can see footprints in the sand. There's even little... <laughs> Jesus Christ. There's tiny little indents in the sand, as well as sand effects on everyone's feet. And every single NPC in the scene looks different, completely unique. Even the towels. There's some a guy over here filming someone twerking in front of the beach. There's jet skis over here. Over to the left, they're spraying suntan on someone. There's a chihuahua. Chihuahuas confirm. If you really look all the way down, you can see how far the draw distance is. There's even a helicopter up the top right-hand side, a water helicopter that will land in the water. But the beach goes all the way down down. You can see this is not just this 50 to 100 NPCs just in this tiny little shot and then th there's the rest of the beach. Cut to a massive shipping yard. It doesn't even it pales in comparison to GTA 5's. G look at the size of these ships with containers on. We got the standard boats returning and on the right you can actually see like a catamaran boat with a gap in between and the water just looks amazing. As well as the animations if you look at the people holding onto the boat they're moving amazingly. Cut to Lucia riding down a highway with her hands up in the air while Jason drives. They're obviously trying to film something because you can see a guy next to them filming them. She puts her hands up in the air celebrating something, trying to do something. Cut to an, just an amazing shot of these cars and how insane the lighting looks. You see the street art on the side of the walls as well as hydraulics are coming back. Low riders. Looks like it. in full swing low riders will be available. You can see a low rider here pulling into a car meet Again, just insane animations. And there's, there's a ton of NPCs. There's people at the back here with the car door open just having a conversation. And for all the horny kids, there is obviously strip clubs. As you can see, we've seen these in the leaks, I believe. And it just, it's packed with people. There's lighting effects. It just looks, it looks so unbelievably real. In this next one, you can see a couple of black guys give each other a handshake. And if you look to the attention to detail on every single piece of clothing, down from the chains to the gold grill, to the glasses. And then we get a beautiful shot of the Vice City landscape at night. You can see the lighting is dramatically improved. It's like, it looks a hundred million times better than GTA V, which is an insane 
thing to say. Cut to what I believe is the boardwalk, which is the Vice City boardwalk, which we've got a person that's begging on the side, a homeless person begging on the side, while three completely original looking NPCs walk past. Tons of people crossing the street, cars, it's just, I've never seen this kind of density in a video game. This, is, this might be the greatest video game I've ever seen. The next thing we have is a classic seaplane flying over the Florida Keys bridges that connect all the islands, and these look like separate islands that you can go to with boats and vehicles and explore every single each one of these islands and they look amazing from the sky so as you can see there's also small boats that are carrying containers and things so I'm, I'm not sure what they're I'm, I'm not sure if you can drive them or not but we will find out there are yachts and they are all moving there's jet skis yachts and again just in this one scene here there is more cars on this road and it just stretches all the way down the screen cut here to what we think is Lucia she's standing at some sort of penthouse looking out and you can see the amount of density that is in Vice City down the bottom and even the player models themselves like it's absolutely insane if you really look closely look at how Lucia's hair moves when she flicks it it's unlike anything that has ever been in GTA or any Rockstar title also the clothes don't look like they're stuck to the models anymore they look like actual clothes and if you look closer you can see the bones in her hands protruding just slightly because her finger is just propped up on her hip there. You can see the individual skin details, as well as a bunch of NPCs in the background doing their own unique thing yet again. Some guy on his phone drinking, someone with a martini, someone in a spa, even the physics on her earrings and every single piece of clothing now. Cut to an amazing new billboard. No more Vinewood sign, now it is Vice. And you can even see the individual panels that make up the Vice logo uh, have tiny little imperfections like they've been placed by a real person. Cut to what looks like a TikTok alternative for the GTA universe where, where they can make NPCs do ridiculous things. You can see some guy here being recorded on a party but some old guy being recorded on a party boat surrounded by a bunch of NPC women. American flags flying. Again, just little tiny objects everywhere. Details. Just, I cannot wait to go into details in this game. Cut to another video on this YouTube TikTok alternative called Official Poach saying, stay alert Vice City. Remember to check for uninvited guests before the pool party. And you can see a poacher grabbing a alligator out of somebody's backyard, which means there's going to be animal-human interaction within the city, as well as the wild. Cut to another meme of a black girl twerking, being recorded again just like it's candid on TikTok as she's twerking on the car down the road. And you can see, even if you look, <laughs> there's obviously jiggle physics, but there's also, if you look at her hair, it blows in the wind. Cut to again a street race where we've just got tons of cars on the cross intersection of what looks like to be a food area, which also looks open at a projects area on the left. So there's two chicks rapping and performing here, which looks like we've got the return of parodied superstars and parody pop stars in GTA, which would be a uh, hilarious satire. I can't wait. You can see all of the comments, which is uh, the best song right now. Long time coming. Ayo, catch a vibe. <laughs> Finna spin the block with this one. This is the shit bomb. Cut to security camera footage of an alligator walking in the front door of a gas station with NPCs recording the alligator. You can see someone is working behind the counter. Even the guy over in the back notices the alligator walking in because of the commotion. In the back here, you can see everyone parked up at the gas station. You can see a guy with his arms leaning over the pickup truck. So even more insane details. And it looks like individual items may be returning just like in Red Dead 2, where you would go around and pick individual items up and take them and buy them. In this next shot, we look like we've got four policemen looking like they're raiding into a criminal hideout. If you look in the top left, it says, beware of the dog. And there is a picture of a rock. Wyler. I'm not sure if that's a chop reference, uh, but they kick the door open and move in and it just looks insane. There's even the ax the parody of the Axon body cam. So there's going to be a bunch of this. So there's going to obviously be a lot of this police satire, which is amazing. The next shot is again from the same social media site. It shows a fat guy being chased by a cop. Uh, it, he's obviously public indecency running across a gas station. You can see just the individual reflections in each of the puddles. So the fictional setting is called Lee. Leonida, not Florida. So Leonida is the fictional version of Florida in this. Again, we can see a redneck hopping out of his car and he is obviously doing a bunch of crazy uh, animations and he's, and he's clearly road raging and being recorded and being put on 
social media. In the back, you can see Vice Beaches part VC slash Keys. So that'll be the beaches slash Vice City Keys area. On the right, you've got the Vice City International Airport. And in the very top left, you can see uh, it looks like someone's wanted and it says wanted for panty sniffing. Cut to more social media. As a black guy riding with his door open in his pickup truck, you can actually see on the back, it says Vice Vinyl Cross Town. All these decals on the back of the car. So now you'll be able to have decals as well as if you notice the paint fleck there's now iridescent glitter paint fleck and as we pass this guy you can see his hair blowing in the wind got to a naked old man in his overgrown backyard watering his plants with a sun visor on and this is gta 6 in the background there's a buildable pool the details are just absolutely crazy the next shot we have npcs and cars completely covered in mud head to toe every single person looks completely different and it just looks so good this looks like the thrill Billy Mud Club, so it looks like a part of like the gladiator course where you you do a bunch of things. In the back, you can see the Liberator monster truck, which is a returning vehicle from GTA 5. The next video is this old lady standing in the middle, and she looks unbelievably real. It looks like it's actually recorded. She's holding two hammers and talking about neighborhood watch don't play around in Hamlet, which is another area in Vice City that is confirmed to exist. Cut to a mountaintop with a rave and a party at the back of a pickup truck. An NPC slams on the table you can see alcohol going everywhere the table collapsing cut to an in-car shot of Jason driving past the cops which is obviously the partner to Lucia he looks a lot like Nico if you're a little closely he looks very similar to Nico I would go as far as to say that he would have relations to Nico an angst to pan it cures emotions uh, satirical sign which it, it's classic GTA and you can see the variation between the police cars there's now SUVs and police cars normal sedans mixed in with different liveries from different jurisdictions. As you can see, they're speeding through the streets. Lucia looks back at the cops. She's holding individual bills of dollars, and you can see them waving around in the car as she's holding them. And then we see a shot from a police helicopter of a car crash into an air... Oh my god, look at that. And then we see an aerial shot of a helicopter police cam of a car crash that looks like has resulted after a car chase between the police. You can see it says no over turning zone because he flipped over in the turning zone. Cops arrest man who flipped his car after Pee Wee's dine and dash. And if you look closer, you can see the individual barrels of water that stop you from hitting the barriers are all squished and the water's splayed everywhere. There's cars parked up and, and police everywhere. There's glass everywhere. And they're pulling the suspect out of the car. This next shot shows a criminal with purple hair, obviously arrested with the word impenitent on his forehead, which means showing disrespect. The headline also says confession written in ink for tattoos in brackets. A tattoo on his neck that gave him away. Key to the conviction of a Leonida man. Cut to just a ton of NPCs driving quad bikes, dirt bikes in the lower Florida area. Again, just a ton of NPCs and cops everywhere and police everywhere. Different cop cars yet again, white ones and black and white ones. And if you read the headlines here, it says Leonida man sucked up in water spout demands the city buy him a new suit. Cut to a, what is obviously another fake show called High Rollers Lifestyles, a parody of High Rollers cars and and you can just see the amount of lighting and detail in this night setting cut to a shot of our two main protagonists Lucia and Jason walking through a store CCTV camera in the background Pisswasser 9 reference in the left E. Cola on the left a ton of individual bottles on the shelves and we see Lucia and Jason obviously speeding around the corner after they have robbed that place even the details in the new cars look unbelievable. As they speed past, you can notice Lucia holding onto the window. So there's an animation of that as well as the dust and dirt all over the car and how it shines against the sun. Cut to our final shot of Lucia saying to Jason trust. And then just before, you can see an Uncle Jack's reference on the left, which could be a reference to Jack Marston. So the final shot reveals our two protagonists kicking the front door open, pointing their guns with their bandanas up, just like Red Dead Redemption 2. Cut to the brand new logo with palm trees in the background and coming 2025 crap anyway guys if you enjoyed watching this video do not forget to give it a like i would appreciate it very much i am so damn excited i can't believe we have to wait two years for this but like i said guys thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video peace